In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to position and size props in x lights when in 3D mode. So here we are in our layout. Now what I suggest you do is, if we look at the grid lines and our property here, once you have them in the correct place, lock them in position. This will mean you're not accidentally selecting them and moving them around. So once you're happy with that, all is good. Now before we move into actually position of the props, let me just do a recap on how you actually orientate yourself in the display. So the controls are, if you press and hold your left mouse button, this will allow you to rotate around your display like this. If you press and hold your middle mouse button, you can pan like this, up, down, left, right, etc. And then if you roll your mouse wheel, you can you zoom in and out. So with that in mind, we need to now start laying some props. But we want to be able to know what size these props are. So what we're going to do, we're going to use an object called the ruler. And you can see it's here and it's hidden. I'm going to bring it into view by sliding it into position. So here I have my ruler object. Now we, you want to find a place of reference on your property that you have measured and you know the distance. Now I know my castle is 20 meters wide. So I'm going to make this ruler set to a real length of 20 meters. But now I need to position the start and the end point to the points on my property. I'm going to do that. So when I click, there is three states that these nodes can be in. So if on the first click, we see arrows, it is in movement mode. Second click, when we see these marks, it means it's in rotation mode. And now on some props, there is also a third state, which is scale mode. That does not apply to a node position in this case. So we want position mode, and I'm going to position this to the front edge of my property. Then I'm going to select this node and slide it to the other end of my property. Now let's have a look. It's a little bit far away from my property, which is important. So I'm going to select this middle node and I'm going to move using the blue button on the Z axis to make sure. And you can see we're a little bit out here. So I'll bring this out again and then move this one out again. So now we have our, a ruler. Now everything else will be measured against this ruler object. But I don't need to be seeing this ruler all the time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this inactive, but it will still be used for measuring. So now let's get laying some props on here. And let's start with the usual mega tree. So I'm going to want one in the courtyard, but I'm just going to build it out here for now. And Again, because I want it here, I'm going to need to bring it forward. So I've got the arrow keys appearing and I use the blue to pull it on the Z axis. Now I'm going to use the red to pull it into my courtyard. And if we look down, it's nicely positioned. And if we now look down at this bottom part of the screen here, we can see that the height of this particular mega tree is 5.21 meters. Now, I don't know about you, but I think my castle is a bit bigger than the, that, so it can handle a bigger mega tree. So currently we're in move mode. So we need to click it once. The icons change to squares, which means it's now in scale mode. So first I'm going to scale the height. A nice big mega tree. I'm going to scale the width and then I'm going to scale the depth. Let's have a look around. I think that looks okay. Now be careful when you're scaling because a lot of the time it's scaling outwards from the center, not just scaling upwards. So if we now look underneath, you can see my pixels have popped through the bottom. Not a problem. I move my orientation here. I click the orange button till I get my position arrows and I bring the item up into position. I'm just waiting for the pixels just to appear. 
and oops, let me put it down. I'm just on the wrong side there. There we go. Better. And there we go. So I have a mega tree in position and looking good. So now let's try something else. Now I think on this property, a triple arch setup on each side will look nice. I'll bring an arch in. That's right. One arch and then say I want three arches. Now the arch one is a little bit different because when we click here, you will notice we do not get a scale option. The scale on the arches is based on the left position and the right position of the arch itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this node outwards and as you can see, the arches start to scale. Then I'm going to move this one. Now, this is where the 3D comes in because if I move around, you can see I'm probably about several meters away from the wall. So I'm going to want to move it back. But this is where you've got to be really careful. I'm currently, I've got this node selected. If I was to move this, I would be twisting the arches backwards. And you'll notice this, you see, this edge moves, but the other edge is not moving. But what I need to do is select the central node. And now I can slide the entire prop into position. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide it till it disappears into the wall and then bring it back. And you can see when I did that, I didn't quite get the tilt correct. So I bring it back into position. There you go. And now I have my three arches in position. I can now use the keyboard commands, control C, and then control V to get my next one this one into position and as you can see I have my arches in position all done and let's just do one more item uh, well a couple more let's uh, let's throw in a spinner or just just let, let to see you can see the scale of these as well okay you can see this is five meters long these set of arches so let's throw a spinner in position on the wall here now you can see, although I drew it on the wall, it's 3D. Now you can see this uh, spinner, I'm going to move it back into position. So let's move it back. And you can see it's important that you keep changing your orientation so you can actually see the relative position of props. So that's disappearing into the wall, so I can bring it back. Still need to come back a little bit more. And there we go, I've got my spinner in position. And you can see this is a one meter spinner. So if I knew that my spinner was actually not that size, I would need to scale this, this spinner accordingly to the size of my prop. And as I move these two items in, you can see that the scale here is now moved to 0 0.7 meters. Uh, but I quite like, I'm gonna get a bigger prop and put that there. So we've got a spinner, let's have another one and position that one on this side and we've got our spinners in position. And one final item, let's put a star on the top of the castle, so quickly star, move it into position, change our panning so we can see, move it in Z space and then move it down and there we go and one item i didn't be oh sorry i'm actually miles away there so let's come in one item i didn't cover was the rotation so we'll have a look at that on the star so if i click again click again we get the rotation marks and you can see currently the star is facing forward if i do the green I can rotate it around its axis. If I do the blue, I can rotate it like this. And the red, I can flip it around this axis. So there you have all of the different controls you need 
to position your props on a property so you can fly around this very quickly. So I hope you found that useful and until next time, have a great day.